expert. In this video, what you're going to learn is this is video number three of a series on how to drop ship to eBay. What you're going to learn is how to list something that is not listed on eBay. So let's just say we go to huntingforcashback.com. This is my dashboard actually, so you can see that this actually works. Okay, you're going to go to huntingforcashback.com. You're going to go to whichever store you want to pick. I'm going to use, I used Walmart before. I'm going to use Kmart. I really like Kmart actually better than Walmart because Kmart actually gives you points. Kmart is now linked with um, Sears, and Sears and Kmart give you points. So it's up to 4.8%, which means there are different categories that you'll get a percentage from. So site wide, you'll get about 7.6 click go to store then once you're done watch this once you make the order later you're going to log in again once you get the order from the customer on eBay and plug in your order ID that way it solidifies how much cash back you're getting so let's just go to uh, Kmart what you want to think about when you're listing or looking for something to list is whether or not it's going to sell uh, whether or not it's returnable or like people will have a return high return rate and what season it is what people are looking for right now so you're thinking about the season right now it's the end of winter beginning of uh, spring and I'm thinking about outdoor right people are trying to get out so I'm going to click on outdoor toys and this is just like a shot in the dark right now um, I like to find things that are more expensive so the things I would tend to look for are trampolines swing sets swimming pools accessories uh, the little thing like even inflatable bouncers the little things I mean you can list them uh, but some people ask, well, how much am I going to make? I'm like, well, it really depends on what you list. I mean, if you list a $15 item and you make a dollar on it, it's only it's going to take you, you know, 100 things to make $100. So if you list a trampoline, look, I'm going to pick the biggest trampolines as well. Um, if you get have a bigger margin of sale or profit, you're going to, you know, make more money. So it's kind of obvious in, in that regard. So let's just click on this propel trampoline. Let's see if it's listed on eBay. All right, so um, it has a special offer. So what I do is I put this date in my calendar when I list it to go check it. So let's go let's try it. And this is just a shot in the dark. I haven't pre like looked for this or anything. All right, so here we go. There is one that's very similar, and look how much it's selling for, or at least somebody is asking for. Remember, this was listed at 279, and I have had trampoline sell for way more on eBay than I actually bought them for so there really isn't an exact match okay so this is how you make your own listing you want to go to sell you want to create your listing you just paste it in there all right you take your category um, sporting goods I'm pretty sure outdoor um this is just real quick i probably could have a better i pause the video found a better category toys and hobbies outdoor toys and structures and then i go to trampoline and you just have to fill in the new the information it, it basically walks you through this okay and you just click on the information that's needed now this is pretty cool. You can actually take a picture if you have a picture of uh, the item near you on your mobile device or add from computer. I'm going to show you how to add it from the computer because when you're drop shipping, you're often doing everything on the computer. So I just filled in the information. The more information you have in the title, the easier it is to be searched. So these are like keywords when somebody's searching on eBay. So if I did new, I'm going to add from computer. I typed in Propel for the brand. I didn't put uh, that down I put frame size year so you can see what I have now as far as the description so I'm going to come here and I'm going to actually uh, feel the description uh, actually probably do full description that also helps you uh, the person who's searching find it all right I'm going to copy paste and you want to also recopy title and add it in at the very top because this again it, it's good for the search engines to find you now the other thing the search engines like are, are bolded print and underlines 
Okay, so anytime you can bold print or italicize, it's going to find it on the regular search engines. Okay, so that's just like some SEO uh, hints. So I'm not going to put an auction. I'm going to put fixed price, which means they're just going to buy it flat out for whatever price I put on there. Now, if you remember, it was $279. i have got to cover my fees from eBay, that eBay charges taxes and shipping. So I'm going to put, and the, the you saw the previous one, I'm going to put $479 on there. All right, that doesn't mean I'm going to make a profit of $200, but I'm, minus all the fees, add best offer, which allows people to just send a price that you can actually take. Even if I, I make... $279.99 from eBay, let's say we minus all the fees, I'm still making money because if you go back here, you're going to take uh, 4.8 plus or 1.6 plus the 6% for that order. That's going to go into your dashboard here. It's going to go into the account. So I'll show you, um, show you how that works right here. Okay. So this hasn't calculated because I just ordered those, but um, you're going to see your premiere is like the free and then the VIP is what really gets you the extra money. So it's going to add up um, to like 7% of 279 All right, so an additional like $14 or $15. Then I'm going to select um, shipping, or select shipping for me. If you do that, select shipping myself, you have to have an approximate weight. Um, I just kind of let it do it for me if it seems like it's normal. If it's way going to be really mess me up with my profits, then I change it. Then you just click list it, and you're going to see it listed. All right, so now there's a problem, okay, because I didn't do the photo. This is critical. I'm going to stop this video. If you need to know how to do the, the photos because it's telling you the photo isn't right, um, check out video number uh, four, and you're going to see how to make a picture for eBay. Thanks for watching. Check out my other video series on Amazon on how to drop ship to Amazon and the rest of the series on how to drop ship to eBay. Thanks for watching. Amy Hunt, Home Business Expert.